It's after work on Monday, April 25th, and I decided I need to test a few flies at a local little pond here. These Altoid tin can things work real good for flies. I've got a few variations of my froggy fly I'm going to try. You can see the one I'm going to start That's out. That's on my little four weight fly rod. Here in Bryan, behind the Target store and back behind the Brazos Center, is a pit that they dug out. It's a water retention pit that they had to dig for all new construction. Uh, it holds the runoff from the parking lots. Well, that thing is about 40 feet deep and it's got a creek it connects to at the other end and it's got a lot of fish in it, mostly small ones, but uh, I've done well there before. But I went over there Monday afternoon and see what I could catch. upper end out of the wind might make it halfway possible to fish. I could tell by the fish that are biting that's mostly brim, smaller brim, and the fly I got on is a little bit too big. So I, I built these things in a smaller fly and I'm going to put that on there and see if it doesn't work a little bit better. Tied on a much smaller fly, it's about a number 10 hook. It's the same foam frog fly that I've been using and been tying. Uh, I just made it in a very, very small fly. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Betty Brown. Downside my fly, and the next thing you know, there's a fish on it. See there? Nice little fish. you're going to see on the nature trails behind the Brazos Center and as usual there are snakes anywhere you got water in Texas you got snakes I know these things make a lot of people uneasy but that right there is a harmless water snake I had heard a pair of green herons uh, on the other side of the lake from me so when I got through fishing I went over to investigate and I found them right off the bat. The two green herons 
uh, a flicker, a northern woodpecker, and uh, an owl or two back there. It's a good way to spend an evening. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.